And now Tucker has hired powerhouse attorney Brian Friedman to represent him as he wraps up his business dealings with Fox News. Friedman secured massive payouts from Megyn Kelly, Bachelor host Chris Harrison, among many others. So Tucker clearly means business. And I guess maybe that should really worry Fox News. Joining us now is Seth Berenswag. He's an entertainment lawyer who has represented on-air talent at ABC, PBS, producers at Fox News. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so what do you make of the potential danger here for Fox News from Tucker Carlson? Well, Tucker Carlson can really be a really big thorn in their side. Um, just to carry through on some of the points that you've just noted, uh, the thing about litigation is that um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And as you go through litigation, and of course we know that Fox is still fighting with Smartmatic and others, a lot of things can go wrong. One of the really difficult things to manage as a trial attorney is to know how to handle a witness that is angry and that has been fired. That is really one of the litigation nightmares. But, but, and I think that we're starting to see some early indications. Yeah, but give me a sense of, like, what could he do, right? Like, what power does he have? We don't know, obviously, the details, right? We don't know what he knows, et sure. cetera. But if, if, you know, broadly, if you have a client like Fox News and you have someone like Tucker Carlson who is angry, you've got to be warning the client, right, about the potential of a rift in a big case like Smartmatic or some of these other cases. That's exactly right. And, and he knows, and his lawyer will remind him, that in order for Smartmatic and others to demonstrate the legal requisite of malice, that they have to be able to present certain evidence sufficient to establish that they knew the information that was being passed through the channel was false. He can absolutely provide damaging information right. in a variety of ways against Fox. So that can be very damaging in that respect. Also keep in mind that he might be able to file his own lawsuit against Fox. We have not yet seen the exact copy of his employment agreement with Fox, but early indications are that it was known as an employment agreement at a term, which provides that they needed to have a contractual obligation to pay him through the end of a period of time. They fired him. It looks like that was an early termination. He may have a lawsuit on that as well, so he can provide a lot of headaches. Yeah, my understanding is that they're going to pay him out uh, with regard to his contract. I don't think that that's going to be the issue. I guess I'm thinking of this more of the Tucker's going to go somewhere else. He's going to start his own business, whatever the case may be, and he, he's going to go after uh, Fox. This is what the Smartmatic lawyer told CNN that their goal is in trying to take Fox to trial. Smartmatic is in this case for the long haul. They are looking to take this case through trial. They are looking through the vindication of a jury verdict in their favor. They are in this for the long haul. That was their intention when they filed this lawsuit. That is their intention today. Considering that Tucker Carlson wasn't the heart of the mischaracterizations, uh, the misstatements, the lies that were uh, said on Fox News about Smartmatic and about Dominion, you would think that... <laughs> Tucker Carlson could end up turning on Fox News and saying, you know what, I'm going to help Smartmatic here in getting a lot more money from Fox. Well, I'll tell you what, success is the finest form of revenge. Yeah. And there was a report within the last 24 hours that at least one other news organization is offering him up to $25 million a year. Um, consider also the various platforms that have been continuing to diversify in the news space. There's no question that, to a large degree, this universe is yeah. Tucker Carlson's oyster. No doubt. And keep also in mind that in 2020, he had about 16% of all the ad revenue. So it can sting. Seth, thanks very much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.